Work Manager is an Android Jetpack component that executes your code in the background. It's deferrable and always reliable as the operating system controls when this work is executed depending on fixed constraints. The Work Manager component offers predefined constraints, an active retry, and also the ability to chain various stacks together. The Android developer side shows the needed dependencies to add to our Gradle file for us to get Work Manager up and running. We'll just take a few seconds to add them to our project. So all we are adding here is the Work Manager library. And after that, we will be adding the GCM support for Work Manager. So note the GCM dependency is actually optional. And if you look closely, you see that they are both using the same version. Well, next, we are going to define a few classes that would handle our background jobs. So to use Work Manager, we need to define some classes. One is the Worker class, the other one is the Request class. The Worker class contains our tasks, while the Request class is used to queue the tasks and set scheduling constraints. So let's create our worker class. I first create a package called deferred where I would like to put my work manager related classes. And after that, I actually create the background worker class. Our worker class takes in a context and work parameters, which are used to pass in custom values to the tax class. Also, this class extends the work parameter abstract class and overrides the do work method. You would put your task code within the do work method. After putting in your code that's supposed to run within the do work method, you'd be required to return a result, either a success, a failure, or a retry, depending on the status of your job. But here we just use success as an example. For simplicity, let's create our work request class, which we would use to call our background worker that we previously created. Work Manager offers different work requests. So the work request builder we'll be using currently would be the one-time request builder, which just tells the framework to execute our code in the worker file only once, immediately it's called, and immediately the constraints have been met. To finish this off, we will create an activity and add our request to the work manager queue for execution. So note, I'm only executing this in an activity, for example, purposes, and to also get fast feedback in practice. In a real life scenario, you can call this in any relevant component depending on your use cases. Thank you.